Biscats 61508 Requirements Management Tool Brought to you by Phaedra Systems This is the main screen of Riscats 61508. From here the standard can be accessed, navigated, SIL calculated and all forms of requirements lists generated. To the bottom left of the main screen is the SIL indicator. This shows the level of SIL that has been set for the requirements in the main window. To the right of the SIL indicator are the vertical main section headings. These section headings run across all seven parts of the standard and subdivided into the main logical blocks. As you select the vertical section, you'll notice that a different set of subsections running horizontally above the measures window also changes, and the default selection for the subsection of measures will appear in the main measures window. By selecting the horizontal tabs of the subsections, you will see the specific measures for each section. To the left of the main window is the SIL calculation tool. However, it should be noted that this is only a rule of thumb system. It is designed purely to set the SIL in the tool to give the obligation of each of the measures. It should not be used on its own to determine the SIL of any project. However, it can be very useful to quickly determine an approximate SIL to give guidance. There are two methods of SIL calculation included, risk graph and probability based. Here we are going down the main factors for the risk graph version. As the SIL indicated in the SIL indicator at the bottom left corner of the window changes, the obligation of the measures also changes. This is indicated by colours. Above the tabs in the main window, you can see there are a series of indicators showing possible, recommended, highly recommended, mandatory, not recommended and informative in different colours. As the obligation of the measure in the window we displayed changes, its colour changes to match the legend given at the top of the window. Therefore, it is easy to spot the actual level of obligation of any measure at all times. Where several measures are optional, the background behind them is shown in grey. As illustrated here, two measures are blocked together, in indicating that either one or the other may be used. However, they may or may not have the same level of obligation. The level of obligation is indicated by the SIL window in the bottom left corner. This may be set either by the SIL calculator above it or manually. Where it is set manually to a desired SIL, if this does not completely match the values indicated in the SIL calculator, the background to this is grey. Then as you change the SIL indicated to match that given in the risk graph calculator, the background goes to white. In the measures in the main window, Apart from the different colours, you will notice that some of the words are given in bold. These are in bold because they are defined somewhere within 61508. By going to the bold word, right-clicking, you get a drop-down menu, and from this you can select Term Definition.
selecting term definition on the menu will cause the standard to be brought up inside the PDF. You are then taken directly to the definition of that term in the standard and it is shown highlighted in yellow. Therefore, you can be certain that the definition you're given is precisely the one you need. As you will have noticed, there are other options on the drop-down menu. Not only can the term definition be obtained, there are other options also available. The options are context sensitive. In this case, when we right click on a line, one of the options is view standard, where we can view the standard for that particular measure. As with the term definition, when you view standard, it pulls up the part of the standard precisely aligned to the measure you were looking at. Again, this is highlighted in yellow. This can be a piece of text, a diagram, or whatever. There are still more options. For many of these measures, you will want to make your own notes, references to company documents, procedures, and other things you wish to do. Traditionally, this has been done by post-it notes, writing in the margin, or whatever. In RISCATS, there is a far more elegant solution. Type in the text you require and click the OK button. It should be noted that new versions of RISCATS are having a fuller editor included that will permit various forms of formatting and tables, also XML output. Any measure with a note attached has the notepad symbol next to it, making it obvious which measures have notes. These can be accessed by clicking on them. You may, of course, want to include some of these measures in your own documentation or refer to them. Therefore, one of the options is to be able to copy the measure to the clipboard. Again, right-clicking on the measure will pop bring the pop-up menu into view and select copy measure to clipboard. Working with 61508 is not a short experience and indeed you may have more than one project going at any one time. So RISCAT 61508 gives you the ability to save a project. This will save notes, other settings, measures selected, etc. To save a project, go to the File menu and select Projects Store. A standard Windows dialog will open to save the project. You can name the project anything you like, as long as it ends in a PRJ suffix. So far we've looked at some basic capabilities being able to navigate around the standard, showing the obligation of any measure at any particular sill. However, the main use of this tool is to determine which measures are applicable for any particular given task, job, documentation or whatever. We will now look at the filtering of all the measures and producing checklists for any given function. Start by right-clicking in the Measures window and selecting the first item in the pop-up menu, Standard Measure Group Selection. This will bring up a dialog. On the left of the dialog will be the various measures, possible, recommended, highly recommended, not recommended and mandatory. Also, you are able to select only on the page you are in across the whole standard and you may select or deselect. The reasons for the select or deselect will become apparent later. In this case, we're going to select measures mandatory for the whole standard. As can be seen by the ticks, not only have the measures on the page in front of us been selected, but also 
other measures in the subtopics, and indeed on the main sections, as there is a tick by each area where something, or at least one, item has been selected. Having selected measures, we can also deselect, as mentioned previously. Bring up the standard measure group selection dialog again, and simply change the setting from select to deselect. This will remove all the selections we've had. Of course, if we were selecting at level four and then deselecting at level three, we would deselect a different set, thereby giving the difference between a level three and level four. This can be quite useful in many cases. Just selecting those which are mandatory, recommended, or whatever, will not give us any great advantage over simply looking at the colors and scanning through the various tabs. RISCAT61508 has a far more powerful selection method which we will now investigate. Right click in the measures window. This will bring up the pop up menu. Select the second item on this aspect based selection. This will give you the, the dialog now in front of you. It has a choice of document, activity, or keyword on the left. On the right, whole standard, just this page, selection type of or and and, and a select or deselect. This is so. You can select multiple items from the list in the middle and have them ORed or ANDed, select, deselect, etc. The document selection is based on tables A1 to A3 of IEC 61508 Part 1 and it is listed in Appendix 7.1, List of Documents of the RISCAP Users Manual. These are all the documents and reports required by 61508. So simply selecting any one of these will give you all the requirements for any particular report. Of course, you can use multiples using AND and OR to select any particular specialized report or aspect you're interested in. Having made our selection, RISCAT61508 marks any major section with ticks, likewise the subsections and the measures required. So we'll have to go to one of the major sections with a tick to go and see which, as, which measures have been selected. We have selected major group 3C, software design and development. This is opened on general design development, and we can see that the subtopic tools and programming languages has a tick by it, so we shall select this. Selecting the tools and programming languages tab, we can see that review and usage of coding standards and coding standards specifying good programming practice documentation are both ticked. Also, of course, in, se in major section 2A, control systems, there is also a tick, so we'll find some other measures selected in the sub-tabs of that one. We will now deselect those in order to make a selection of another type. Having selected the aspect-based selection again, we will now change from document to keyword selection. We have now selected the keywords aspect. The key set of keywords has been created by the authors of RISCAT 61508, having had many years discussion and work with the standard and validation and certification across the whole of Europe. We now move on to activity-based selection. Activity selection is based on the life cycle tables of A1 to A3 of 61508 Part 1 and is listed in Appendix 7.2 list of activities in the RISCAT user manual. This also, of course, can be selected the whole page, the whole standard, and or select or deselect.
We can now use the tabs, in the major and minor selection tabs, to go and find any measures that have been selected. Here we can see the sub-tab verification has a tick. By going there we can see that the measure safety requirement verification and adequate requirements and incompatibilities is selected. If you look at the bottom of the window, you will note that as you select the measure, it is repeated in the bottom of the, min of the window, along with the actual clause in the IEC 61508. So you could, of course, look this up on the paper edition if you have one to hand. In this case, we have simply right clicked on the measure and selected View Standard from the pop-up menu that appears. This has pulled up IEC 61508 Part 2 at Clause 7.9.2.7 with that selection highlighted. This saves an awful lot of going through paper copies. And of course, if you have any notes, they will be attached to the measure. Having obtained all these results, various measures selected, notes appended to other method measures, you will want to save your selection to give us checklists and basis for other documents. Click on the File menu and save the results. The result storage gives various parameters. You can store the risk parameters, that is, the various parameters in the SIL calculation to the left, the SIL level, and incidentally when you save the SIL level it actually says whether it is or isn't compatible with the selection of the risk parameters. You can have the measures selected, the measures with any notes you've added, you may not want to add the notes in all cases, or measures not selected. And of course, there is a delimiter character which is changeable. This method of saving has been found useful for saving to most forms of document, text handling system, or of course, into spreadsheets. The resultant files are generally saved in RTF format. Initially we mentioned there were two methods of calculating SIL, risk graph and probability based. So far we've only shown the risk graph, we will now show the probability based system. The probability based method is more quantitative and specifies failure rates and requires a more mathematical approach. The method has two parameters, failure without measures and failure rate tolerated for low demand of operation. Again, it should be noted that the RISCAT 61508 tool is not primarily designed as a SIL calculation tool. Therefore, whilst this can be used as a rule of thumb and a quick guide, and very useful in that mode, it should not be, not be relied upon as the sole method of calculating the safety case for any particular project. Apart from being an extremely good navigation tool and method of gaining parameters and measures for any, any activity within 61508, you may of course just want to browse the standard. The menu standard text gives you access directly to any of the standards and you can browse these as much as required. 